hello and welcome back to the third part of my Buffalo WSS 2016 roundup. Now, as already mentioned previously, I genuinely believe that if you are going to utilize a NAS for the basis of using Windows Server, it is absolute madness not to just buy a WSS NAS with the software pre-installed. This Buffalo series of the Terra Station NAS that's got um, the Windows Server license included, that's the 2016 license, already included, ready to go, I believe, on an SSD inside. Um, on top of that, it arrives with a number of them with 10 GBE on board, giving you stupidly fast connectivity with your local area network. It seems a no-brainer to me to spend extra on a more expensive NAS and buy the software than buy one of these NASs, which have got great hardware and the software included. I know it seems like I'm being incredibly uh, condescending, but there really is no excuse not to go for it. Now, in my previous video, I looked at a number of the key features of Windows Server 2016. I was look, mainly looking at these six boxes and some of the features and functionality that are open to you if you're going for one of these devices. And do you know what? While I'm looking at this screen here, let's get that text a little bit out of the way, shall we? Because that is gonna be a right old pain when it's in the way. Now, today I want to talk about some of the extra features and extra software that are included with the Buffalo version. Because a Windows, Story, a Windows Server and Windows Storage Server are different things. For a start, Windows Server, you have to imagine, is your Windows um, software. It is exactly the same as if you buy an operating system, Windows 7, 8, 10, any of this software, that is, uh, Windows Server is that software. Windows Storage Server is a variant of this software that is um, procured by manufacturers such as Buffalo with their devices. You can't actually buy Windows Storage Server. So in order to get some of these features of functionality that help you better control your server in a much more point-to-point -point fashion, you have to make sure that the, the brand that you're dealing with has the right software. And that's why Buffalo is so good at this because they've arrived with a number of the features of functionality already pre-populated, uh, already pre-installed from their own software. So up here, we've got all the Windows Storage Server stuff. And then down here, we've got their own stuff. So first and foremost, let's take a look. Now, I've already opened it up and unfortunately, it's telling me that I've got it running in the background. So let's close that down right now. And again, we're not going to hold that against Buffalo. That is purely my fault after shutting it down and opening it up too quickly. If we go into the Buffalo dashboard, we open this bad boy up. And what this will do is give us all the information and real-time updates on our Buffalo NAS. So right now, we are running this um, version of uh, Windows Storage Server on this NAS in real time. And the Buffalo app will tell us all the information about the device, what the disks are doing, everything else. It's gonna do a quick scan there in the background and procure that information for us. While it does that, we can look at the other tools that are open to us. We can look at Buffalo's replication tool. Now the replication tool is if you want to recreate folders, files and NASs back and forth, and of course, synchronize them in real time. So for those that aren't aware, there's a system known as RTRR, Real Time Remote Replication. And that's between NASs that duplicate files um, and synchronize all the time. And this lets you do that with this server. And that's included nice and simple with the Buffalo software. In Windows, um, store, in Windows Server, you have to dig a little deeper to get that functionality. You have to go into the Windows administrative tools and then have to go into the processes and then basically dig through and find that functionality. Whereas Buffalo give it to you in one click. And in one click, there you are, you've got your replication tool. Next, we've got backup and, and replication folder settings. And this is where we go through how it's going to back up, where it's going to back up individual folders and tasks and basically labeling um, different process. We remove out of that. I haven't made any changes. Next, the RAID Builder. Now, anyone that's ever used a NAS will know the importance of the RAID Builder. Because one of the main reasons anyone buys a basic NAS is because most NASs arrive with support and um, software functionality for RAID. So a number of devices will arrive with the ability to create a RAID. The, the fact that you can have multiple drives and one of the drives will act as a safety net. So you could have multiple drives. So we have in this case, all these drives are two TB each. And then you could create, for example, a RAID 1, where you would click two drives, 
and then stick these in a RAID 1 environment. And in a RAID 1 environment, that means that one of your, uh, basically, you only have two terabytes of storage space in this scenario, but all your data is constantly duplicated on, onto both disks. So you've always got a perfect copy of all of your data. Another advantage of RAID 1, of course, is that it increases read and write speeds because there are now two disks with the same information that can be used for read and write simultaneously. Now, again, other RAID levels do give you a different level of functionality. Now, the diagrams here will explain it better than me, but with a RAID 5, what you end up with, with at least three drives in a RAID 5, is you create a system of parity where every wave of data that's put on your NAS um, uh, one drive is used for a blueprint. So in one wave, data is put on disk one, disk two, and on disk three, a little blueprint of all the data that was made up of data on the other two. And on the next wave of data, that little blueprint skips to a different drive. And then as every single wave goes down, it doesn't matter if you lose one drive because the system can rebuild all the data with the parity and the data on the remaining drives. Spanned is a bit like RAID 1, but the way the data is written across the drives in stripes. And then you've got a RAID 0 stripes, and that's a RAID 0 again. Nice and simple. You've got one where all the data is written down one drive and down the other, and the other one is when the drive data is combined. So in a RAID 0, all of this data would be combined. All this capacity would be added for one giant 8 uh, TB drive of storage. And again, in a RAID 0 environment, read and writes are improved substantially so you can create a brand new raid if we were to create a brand new raid here let's find out if this system will let me create a raid with these drives and we'll create a raid one environment on this device so we'll go there we'll click OK and then it's gonna it's already built that raid now it's also worth mentioning that the six bay model from the in the WSS series that device has a hardware RAID option. That's the device that's got um, basically a RAID controller uh, chip and card inside to improve the RAID configuration. What that means is your RAID will be built quicker, your read and write speed will be faster because of the calculation that goes into creating parity and things like RAID 5 can trouble some CPUs. And if you've got a hardware RAID, that process is handled easily by that. And lastly, if you do have a failed drive, uh, a hardware RAID can rebuild a RAID much, much faster. And right now, they are the uh, Buffalo, the only company right now that have a hardware RAID enabled Windows Storage Server 2016 NAS. I can't stress this enough, guys. Buffalo are the only people that have this hardware and this software combined right now. So if you're looking for a window, if you're buying uh, a NAS as a Windows Storage Server, this is a no brainer here at the bottom. So, carrying on looking at our tools, email notification, because let's face it, you're going to want to have notifications to different via different means to let you know if something goes right or wrong on your device. And this is where we'll find out about it. You'll get a notification that says if there's an alert, if a drive's failed, if there's unauthorized access, any kind of attack that's happening to your server, you want to know. And the good thing is, although Windows has this facility, in some cases you have to pay extra or you have to run a background app. Whereas with the Buffalo system, it's there immediately and it uses the NAS's own inbuilt alert system for audio notifications and, and LAN notifications as well. So next, you've got display settings, of course, and this lets us change how and what we see on this device. So we can remove different features and functionality. We can remove what we see and what we don't need and features like that. And again, very simplistic, I know, but it's still interesting indeed. And finally, let's talk about that Buffalo dashboard. It's got all of the real-time information that we need for this device. If we go into it here, we can see our device, we can see serial numbers, we can see different connections to this multi-LAN device. And of course, this has 10 GBE as well. Fantastic, lovely 10 GB Windows Storage Server now. And I know you think I'm plugging this hard, let's put that text back. But there's still no denying it, this is a great device. And the fact that you've got the license included, so the software's taken care of, and if you're someone that's familiar with Windows servers, that's a no-brainer. But on top of that, you've got the Buffalo's own hardware and software, their three-year warranty, you've got the advanced replacement service. Oh, just do check them out, guys. Go to the links in the description. 
I'm going to stop plugging them now, but take my word for it, they have left a very positive mark on me here. And I'm a guy that's been with NAS a long time. Now, via this dashboard, this is where we can have real-time control and detailed use of our devices. So we can check out drive health, find out what we want our system to do in the event of a problem with our drives, as well as what we want our system to do in the event of a power failure. With replication and backup and fan uh, information, we know that we can check the health of our device and then we can either use this information here or use Windows own information. But once again, the information is just more readily available with the Buffalo software. So what this has done is take the software uh, of Windows Storage Server, Windows Server even, and present it to you as user-friendly as possible. And they've added to that and improved on it with their own tools. And again, if you go back to NAS Navigator and all the other NAS applications that we talked about earlier on, it's just another reason why I think these are the guys to go to if you're going to be using a Windows Server in 2018, 19 and onwards. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Our next video regarding Buffalo is gonna be regarding that 10 GBE switch. Because while we were setting up for these videos, we did notice that the, we haven't done a, an overview of the user interface of that switch. And for 300 odd quid, I think it's like 350 pounds perhaps, the BS MP2008 is right now the cheapest 10 GBE eight port switch that is also managed. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Grab your new Buffalo Nows from the guys at Span.com. They are the Nows guys to go to. And do read the guides in the description to everything we can tell you about the Buffalo WSS 2016 Terra Station Nows. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.